Hey guys, it's Pika P, and today we are here with Iggy from the Perth Gunpla community. So, being a, a Gunpla master, would you say? No. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, you, you obviously have some kind of talent for it. You know, yeah. You've placed third at mm. nationals for no yeah. reason. What would you say would be five tips that you could give to someone that wants to enter GBWC? Okay. Maybe this year or next year or, yeah, pro Ooh, tips. Yeah. So when they did call my name after overcoming the joy and whatnot, being rational, why didn't they pick my yeah. entry, right? So yeah. after that, everybody got a chance to talk to the judge, Mr. Kawaguchi. Mr. Kawaguchi. And I literally asked him why it was my like entry. And he said it came down to how I've displayed it. So he just likes the balance of how things are, the posing, the composition. So that's the composition. word, the composition. Right. Of yeah, yeah, yeah how it looks. So that's one tip. If you can make an entry that you can see everything just from one perspective. If you have a magazine, if your piece can be a magazine cover. Okay, so basically yeah. they want something that you can look at it from one angle yeah. and get every part of your techniques. In this competition, the judge will have at least tens or hundreds of entries that have a quick browse mm -hmm. to them. And then they pick selected views that catches his eyes. Mm -hmm. Then they judge it by yeah, the category. Yeah. Okay. So it's not they look at every entry and judge it by that three category. Uh, when they do judge it, that's when they look at into the detail. So the second tip, size. So it might not be the bigger and better, but it seems to be that way because not because of the reason it's just how massive it is, they give you more points, but the bigger the canvas is. Yeah, okay. The so more things you can show, yeah. Yeah. yeah, bigger may be better. Maybe. Yeah. It gives you more room to play around with it. But yeah, don't forget the height limit of the 50 by 50 by 50, because if you go over that by just a few mils, you're out. You're out. Oh Heart my gosh, that would be so, like, you spent like a year on this kit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely don't do that. Tip number three the judge really knows his stuff, so don't try to think, ah, oh, yeah, they're not going to see this. Yeah, so for example, I think it was a few years back, yeah. someone, uh, it seems like it's uh, something that uh, was in a scene of the anime, mm -hmm. but wasn't. Okay. And he didn't really like that. So oh, okay. Like, no. so, so they tried to kind of recreate something, but didn't do it but properly? Not properly. I'm just like, maybe just too much artistic freedom to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. All so right. it's like, he didn't get it. Yeah. No. Okay. Again, art is freedom, you can do whatever you want. But, but it's for... competition. I guess that's like the big difference between any hobby. It's like with cosplay as mm. well. Mm. You can do whatever you like, mm. but if a competition specifies accuracy and you've done some like really nice technique, but it's not accurate to that thing, yeah. then the competition is probably going to knock you down. Yeah, it's maybe. the same thing. But more like it's between the lines. Yeah. Because okay. at the moment, the judge, the only thing that is certain is the judge is going to be Kawaguchi for now. That is what people have uh, connected with how he likes it. He, he likes canon. Mm, okay. So that's another way to win his heart is if you recreate something from the anime and if he realizes it, he'll be like, damn, ah, that's cool. Okay, cool. Right. But this continues to the yeah. fourth tip is that if you want to create something from the anime, make sure that no one has done it. Originality. One, yeah. yeah, originality, because you get dumped a lot of marks if he can remember that, oh, I saw this exact same thing. Right? So mm -hmm. that's a mark that I got docked off. Okay. Having a book of something coming out of a book. Okay. He said to me, it's becoming more and more popular recently. Mm -hmm. So he docked mark off that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Find something. Yeah, I, and the last tip that I'd like to share is, mm -hmm. as I said before, the judge don't have a lot of time and there will be a lot of entries that you have to consider. Mm -hmm. So make your thing eye-catchy. Right. So that's the first job it needs to do, to catch his eyes and then he'll judge it. Because right. otherwise you won't even consider it. Ooh, so it's really hard. It's it is. Like if, it is. It, if it doesn't look good, straight up. It doesn't have to look good, it has to the catch eye his catching. eyes, eye-catchy. Okay, all right. That's At least then he has it in his conscience yeah. and then he's like, oh yeah, I'll go back to it. Yeah. And then if, I mean, if it's lacking compared to the other competition, yeah. then obviously he will mark it. All right, so yeah, thank you. I catch. Mm -hmm. So we had, so we just recap them. Number one is the composition and the perspective, and think of your entry like a photo. Yes, yeah. think of it as a photo mm. or like a magazine cover shoot photo shoot. Number two. Number two. Number two is the size. The size. Yeah. Yep. Bigger might be better in the sense that you'd have more space and leeway to do your artistic. Mm -hmm. 
So number three, remember the judge know their stuff. By their stuff, I mean the original series, like the canon, anime, everything. So if you're trying to recreate something, make sure that he can one, see that you're trying to recreate it. Or if you're not trying to recreate something, make sure that he'd understand that. Mm -hmm. So either you actually want to recreate something or be free. Or be, be your, your yeah. own yeah. creativity. Yeah, correct. Oh. Which leads to number four. If you do want to recreate something from the anime or just anything really, make sure that someone hasn't done that before. I know it might be hard because there are so many people doing stuff. But if, if it's like you blatantly copying someone's idea, it's not a good point. Mm -hmm. Lastly, number five, make sure your piece is eye catching because mm -hmm. when it's eye catching, uh, the judges will come back to it and have a closer look into your piece. Mm. Yeah. Yes, um, awesome. So they are Iggy's top five tips for GBWC. Everyone should enter GBWC. Try out your skills, learn new things, learn other things from other people, and just just see see where you go. You know, just go and yeah, have some fun. There's no you're not going to lose. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Iggy. Uh, uh, yes. Thank you very much for sharing your hot tips. Hot tips. Hot okay. tips with Iggy. And good luck. Are you going to be entering GBWC this year? I'm hoping so. Yes. Ooh, so uh, definitely the next new champion for Australia, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks for and, having um, me. And we'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.